close the door. Get into production. All right. Ain't nothing like a Red Bull in the mornings. Sink. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. It has been a little bit since I whipped out the camera in this orientation on this camera and I'm not on the streaming setup making a video, but we're right back to it. We're making YouTube videos now. I took a little bit of a hiatus from making any content as far as the YouTube side of things because as some of you guys know, and if you guys haven't watched that previous video, I'll link it up here somewhere wherever you guys can click it. Your boy finally got a dev job. I am going to be working as a developer support engineer at Plaid, which is a FinTech company based here out of San Francisco, but they do have offices a lot of other places. Uh, this is a, an amazing gig and I couldn't be any more happier with finally landing this new role and gonna be starting here in the next couple days now. At the time of this recording, it's Sunday, I believe. I'm losing track of my days, so. It is Sunday, February 28th, and I will be starting on Tuesday, March 2nd, which isn't that far away. And I'm pretty nervous, pretty stressed out the last couple days. Like I said, I have just been taking a hiatus from creating content as far as the YouTube side of things, not editing any videos, not making any, you know, brainstorming ideas or anything like that. And uh, it's just been kind of stressful. You know, I've been really, really focused on prioritizing my personal health and just mentally preparing for this new role since this is now a big boy step up from self-teaching myself and doing these side projects into now moving over into a full-time role. So that being said, I wanted to make this video and update you guys on what is coming up and what is changing for this channel. Because with the new role, there is going to be a new allocation of time to creating content. Unfortunately, I will not have the same amount of time that I had in the past to create more videos, to create Instagram posts, to um, get on the podcast. Uh, a lot of things are going to change and shift as well as the direction of what this channel is going to take. Uh, I do want to change how this channel is going to look and what kind of content pops up uh, in the feed now. A lot of what you guys have seen in the past is kind of talking head videos where I am talking through my process, what I'm going through in my journey and some some of the struggles and some of the tips that I've you know gone through and allocated and taken in over the past year or so. Now that we have the new role, the direction changes. The journey has now shifted from this chapter to the next, and I wanna bring you guys along still with that, but at the same time, start to shift again the content that comes through. So, first order of business is there's gonna be a lot more vlogs or day in the life videos. I do enjoy making those kinds of videos. A lot of people have been requesting them that they come back, and those, those, couple videos that I made are some of my best performing videos. So why not bring them back? Why not do more? And it's probably the best timing to do them now because I'm actually in a new dev role. I get to be home while I work. So it's gonna be easy to make uh, more content in the sense of actual dev work and you know documenting the day in the life of a software engineer. But you know at the same time, there will be less code on screen because I cannot show the code or the work that I'm doing live on screen. So a lot of that has to stay closed doors, but you will still be brought along in my journey, in my life, and kind of, kind of get to see the documentation of what it is I do every single day. So I will be doing a lot more vlogging and a lot more day in the life videos to come in the future on this channel. Another direction that I've definitely wanted to take and have been sitting on for quite a while has been tech videos. I've been doing a little bit of them here and there. Not a lot of them do well, but I still do enjoy doing them. And a lot of people have been asking to review some products such as, you know, the M1 MacBook. I still got to make a follow-up video for that and some other tech related stuff that kind of have to do with software development, but also at the same time, some of the stuff that genuinely interests me, such as, you know, the M1 or mechanical keyboards, things of that nature. And I do definitely want to be doing more reviews of that nature on this channel. So expect one more vlogs, two tech related content, a lot more tech reviews. But yeah, those, those are gonna be some of the couple things that are changing. Uh, I don't know what coding tutorials are going to be or what coding content is going to pop up on this channel just because of the time. The time that I have to make content is very, very low now. Dirt Monday through Friday, I am occupied. You know, I gotta find some time to make content, but also prioritize myself. Like I said before, I have been struggling a little bit in the sense that, you know, I'm get a little stressed out. Haven't been in a great headspace because of the new role. Not that the new role is like 
detrimental or anything, but it's just because it's, it's very overwhelming. Um, you know, the emotions, the stress, a lot of self-doubt comes up, the imposter syndrome pops up. So I've just been trying to relax and really prioritize my mental health, not just my physical health, you know? There's a lot of other things that come with personal health and I wanna prioritize that a little bit more. That being said as well, the direction I wanna take is, uh, with the documentation is bring to the limelight and talk a little bit more about, you know, mental health, physical health, some of the things that you can and can't, should not do to, you know, improve yourself as a human being, you know, with the whole work from home life, with the whole remote lifestyle, with the whole quarantine, COVID thing, you know, in the current times we're in, personal health is something that we should all focus on. And I think it's something that a lot of people now have hit roadblocks in because they have not taken the time to really prioritize themselves as individuals. So that's something I wanna bring to the light. Me being now a full-time remote worker, I need to prioritize that as well and take care of myself. So with that, you get different kinds of content, but you also probably will get less of me. I used to do two videos a week, but now I'm thinking I need to dial back and do at least one a week. If you guys don't see much from me, then I am probably producing a video in the works or work has been getting busy. So don't judge me. I will update you guys as much as I can and I will try to stay as active as possible. Now with the added bonus of actually getting this role, I have now the actual capital and budget, I guess, to up the production quality of the channel and the Instagram and everything that I do. So gonna be reinvesting a lot of what I make from YouTube as well as some of the, the salary I make at the new job to getting new camera equipment, getting more lighting. Eventually I'm planning on moving out. So there is going to be that. There's gonna be a change in scenery here so I can finally have somewhat of an office slash studio to work in and it's not in my bedroom. I'm also thinking about hiring a video editor to free my time up. Like I said, I'm trying to prioritize my personal health and my me time. So hiring on a video editor is definitely going to free my up. I don't know if I'm taking applications just yet. I am still thinking about it and how much I'm willing to give in my salary and personal budget to pay a video editor to edit my videos. That I will definitely have to make a posts or applications in terms of, you know, if I'm open to getting video editors. If you guys are interested, just hit me up, hit me in the emails in the description uh, and you can just let me know that you're a video editor and you want to help me out. Uh, that's up to you though. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it just yet. We'll see. It depends. But that is also an added bonus now that I have this role is that I can kind of free myself up and outsource a little bit of the work that I do here to other people. So those are some of the things and some of the updates and changes that are coming to this channel. Hopefully you guys stick around. I'm very, very grateful and just blessed to have all of you guys here following my journey. Um, you know, for, the, for all of you that have been day ones, um, you've watched this journey progress uh, to what it is now. And it's kind of wild and crazy to me still to see that, you know, we finally made it. Hopefully some of these changes that are coming to the channel excite you guys. If there's anything else that you would love to see on the channel or love to see me do personally, then hit me up in the comments section. I read them for sure. I may not reply to them, but I do definitely read them. And I get a lot of great feedback from them. So hit me down in the comments or just email me justin at chowcodes.com. You can also, again, check it out in the description box below and you can hit me up there with any suggestions and or feedback that you may have. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to see you guys on future videos. Peace.